Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Well, actually, good noon. Good Which noon. <laughs> in one minute, we can say good afternoon, Hal. Yeah, right now, we're in limbo. It's exactly 12 o'clock noon. Good noon. Good noon. <laughs> that sounds so funny. Good noon. <laughs> good noon. We'll put Hi, that everyone. 12 o'clock p.m. is noon. So maybe a new vocabulary word for some people. Right now, it's 12 o'clock p.m. We already have people joining us, Hal. Look at this. Hello, Alex. Hey. From Modena. Hi. Hey. You're close to us. us. Yeah. For everyone else who's joining us, please introduce yourself in the comments. We want to know who is joining us. And we can introduce ourselves. Uh-huh. Shall I go? Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, my name is Hal. Yeah, I did it the right way. You did it. I did it. <laughs> my name is Hal. <laughs> um, I am 26. Hi, Matia. Morning, afternoon, noon. Happy noon. Now it's afternoon. Um, it's over one. Now it's afternoon. We've made it. Um, my name is Hal. I'm 26. I'm from London, south of England. Um, and I live in Bologna. I've been here. I have been here. Ooh, I've been here for six months. Maybe seven now, but I feel like the last two months. They don't count. Do they count? Maybe they don't count. Um, yeah, and I'm very happy to be here today. It's okay. Good. Yay. And we also have Luca. Hello. Hey, Luca. Hi. And Elisa. Hi. Yeah. Wonderful. Great. And I am, I got it now. I'm Kendra. I'm originally from Seattle in the United States. Seattle. I say it with the Italian accent. Um, and I'm, what, 29? And I've lived and worked in Bologna for almost two years. And today I am wearing the sweater from my university. Right. Washington State Uni. Go Cougs. Is, is that the color as um, well? No, crimson and gray. Red and gray. It's kind of crimson. Yeah, it's red. Yeah. <laughs> I, quite like, I really like that color, actually. It's very nice. Um, what's yeah. the mascot? What's the mascot? You said Cougar. Go, Cougar. Go Cougs. Okay, go Cougs. Yeah, we should. The mascot is the kind of figure that represents a university, a country, a team, a sports team. Cougar, because there are right. wild cougars in Washington State. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We in what the university um, studies a lot. Uh, two of the big departments is veterinary science ah. and agriculture. Okay. So in the past, we had like cougars. Like wow. they kept in the, in the alive. University. Like yeah, like in some in some cages, but we also Ooh. have bears that they're studying, and then we have a lot of farm animals, but we also have the the giant cows. There's these like mystical giant cows. Mystical giant cows. <laughs> giant cows. They're big, really big. big cows. I saw them one time. They were really big, and mm -hmm. there's like a theory that, or there's rumors through the university that either they've been scientifically altered or they're just like the normal size of cows, but we don't Other see them cows. grow that big. I, both of those, I don't buy either of them, but the second one is really <laughs> nice. That these are the original cows. This is what cows yeah, should look is, like. This is the size they should I, be. I have I no idea, that. but there are bears. We don't have cougars anymore. And is the uni I'm asking you about the university lots. Is the university in Seattle? Is no. that where it's based? Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Um, but I'm writing in the chat a mascot, a figure of the school, normally an animal. Yeah. Yeah. Like in the United States, very, very common. Yeah, and that and that matches, right? Like for a for a football team or Yeah. Yeah. You have some poor our... person dressed up. Mm -hmm. With like a, a hot summer day with a big 
yep. costume on. Uh, Our mascot had a name too, Butch. His name was Butch, Butch. the Cougar. Butch the Cougar. <laughs> <laughs> wow the cougar. a friend of mine was one of the because there's like a group of students who are uh -huh. who are the mascot for games but they uh -huh. it's secret until their last year of university and then and they one reveal of friends, yep one of my friends was wow. butch. Mm -hmm. yeah, one of your friends was butch how great yep. uh, <laughs> gabrielle <laughs> hey from florence Hi, hi, hi. Yeah. Thanks for nice joining us. Nice to see you. What in uh, what? We had a special oh, question, right? We had a special question, but I Did forgot. You? Ah, yeah. Here it is. Where would you like to travel for your next holiday? Tell us in the comments, guys. I think I want to go to Greece. Okay. Why? Because I want to just be on a beach for like two weeks. Mm hmm swim eat and greek just, salads and stay somewhere near to the beach but all you do is you just yeah. walk out walk to the beach just, every day go back home yeah. easy at even this though point, i don't want and kind of it doesn't need to be a really wonderful i mean good if it's a really nice beach then great but i would take just a beach you know just a beach with the sea you know what i mean yeah, like, yeah. i don't care I but I want a place that's not going to be um, like it doesn't have all of the like for example in Rimini they have all mm -hmm. of I don't know what to call yeah. them they have a word like for it in Italian yeah. yeah there's like sections yeah. where they have the lounge chairs mm -hmm. I don't want to go to a beach like that I don't want to pay every day to have a chair sure. I just want to lay on the sand with my towel yeah and Swim and I can and I can go swim and I can tan. Maybe I should explain tan. Tan. <laughs> uh, yeah. To sunbathe. Mm -hmm. to see, I'd like I'd like visiting Scotland one more time. Okay, cool. I would like to visit Scotland one more time. Sorry, I want to go to Scotland too. Scotland is beautiful. Um, I'd love to go to Edinburgh as well. Never been. I love Edinburgh. I love Glasgow. Um, I would like to go to some beach. Uh huh. Good. We all agree. But I think it'll be difficult with these conditions. Yes. I saw the other day that there were somebody has invented in Italy, like um, they might they want to put plexiglass, like like glass on the yeah. beach between these these little sections of so you have maybe your your you, you pay for your little section of the beach and then either side of you there's um plexiglass so that you don't infect people either That's side so of you. Strange. okay awful. awful yeah 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 and luca i would like to go back to the seaside maybe in calabria or greece yeah that sounds great to me also yeah yeah. Me too. I want to go to the beach. <laughs> I was so excited in April this month. Mm -hmm. Not excited, but I was planning, it was my intention to go like to like a tanning booth, oh, yeah, the place to start this. getting tan because yeah. I like to be tan. Uh -huh. But it takes me, I must work to be tan because I'm not tan. And so okay. I have to slowly, slowly, slowly develop my tan and sure. that changed. Ah. That changed. I would like to go to Cagliari, my hometown by the sea. Lovely. Is this cool. one in Sardinia? Is mm, it I think you might be right. Yeah, oh, in Sardinia. I yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. And then we have Jacopo joining us from Florence. Hi, welcome. Hello. And Alex is helping me. We call the okay the beaches. Stab Thank you. I'm learning Italian. I've heard the, the Bagno one. Bagno. 
In English, it would be uh, bath, but we don't. We don't. Say we don't that. say that. I don't know if we have a word for it. We do. We just say beach like, number forty-seven. The and then like yeah, a section of the beach. Yeah. We could do with a word because sometimes it's quite confusing if you're trying to find someone on a busy beach. <laughs> you're like, yeah. I'm over here. Uh, <laughs> Where? <laughs> I'd like to go. Room? I'd like so up, guys. After I would like, and then to infinitive. I would like to go uh -huh, to the beach or to with a country to India. Cool. You could go to a beach in India. Mm. Ooh, yeah. A nice combination. I'll put that correction up for you, Elisa. It's in the comments. And Jacopo, I'd like to go to Indonesia. Me too. I'd also love to go to Indonesia or Thailand. Um, Malaysia. Yeah. I would really like to go there also. But thinking of my bank account, Greece or Italy is okay. Yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and yes, in Calgary is. I've been I've here been then. Here. I've been to. I can never say it right. Cagliari. No. Cal That's a stress. Cagliari. 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 Here you got it. Cagliari. Yeah, I've been there. I like it. I like right, it and lot. Alex agrees with you exactly. I'd like. I'd like to go to a free beach. Yes. But I don't like to pay every day for a big umbrella. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I agree. I think he means, but I like, like in general, I like to go to free beaches. Ah, I don't okay. like to pay every day. If it's in general, then we can say, yeah, I like to go or I like going. Mm -hmm. Whereas if we're talking about a specific imagined thing, I would mm -hmm. like to go. So like good, Alex. Great. Wow, we um, have a I lot of people. To, um, uh, yeah, it's so nice, guys. I want to go to Istanbul. Um, mm, right. Yeah. And I was supposed to, so, mm, I was going, I was supposed to go to um, Kampala in Uganda <clears throat> in a month or so. But Where? Kampala in Uganda. In Africa? Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> geography lesson now. This is, this what is we're a doing. geography Adi lesson. Kampala, um, but I, it's, that's not going to happen. So. so many plans have had to so change. What can, you, what can you do, as we say? What can you do? What can you do? It is what so, it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. We are where we are. What can you do? Yeah. I love saying we are where we are. I say that a lot. We are where we are. I don't we say that are one. Where I we are. what it is. It is what it is, and we are what we are. We no, are? sorry, not we are what we are. No, <laughs> we are where we are. Although we are also we what are we, are. we are. We are we where are what we, we are. are. <laughs> we are what we are. We are. It is what it is. We are where we are. Right? Here's some more for everyone. We are what we are, and <laughs> we are where we are. Yeah. These are some different quotes we tend to say. There we go. <laughs> that one's, but yeah, people actually say the first one and the third one, right? Yeah. No, we say this. Oh, do you? Okay, that's nice. Yeah. I've never, never we are, said we that. Are. Or he is what he yeah, is. Like, like when, I made, when you say, I made that way. Yeah. yeah. I can't change yeah. me. Alex. Okay. Me. Okay, in our <laughs> you go in our roof here. There aren't enough free beaches. Yeah, in Sardinia there are so many. You're right, Alex. Yeah, that's why. Hal, have you been to Sardinia? No, oh, I really want to go. So beautiful. Well, for some reason, all the Italian friends who I have sort of met in my time so far have been from Sardinia. I, really? I didn't plan on that. And they're it's all so, so nice. pretty. Mm -hmm. So pretty. I I prefer the south more than the north. Um, the island. Yeah. I think the south has, because I've been to, I always say it wrong, Alguero, which is like a north city. And I've been to Cagliari also in the south. And I preferred Cagliari. Yeah, there's just more, I think there's more like nature 
in the south. Sure. It's but it's so beautiful. It's very wild. It's really nice. Um, ah, and beautiful beaches. So that always makes me happy. Anyways, guys, let's take a look at our focus. <laughs> We're at the airport. At the airport. <laughs> Probably won't be for a while, but it's okay. And what we're doing today? You want to read, Hal? Your turn. Sure thing. Checking in <laughs> at security, dealing with problems. One thing mm -hmm. to notice straight away is that we often use the article, the, um, the that is the determinant article, with airport. Yeah, we do. This is, the not, airport. Like, you don't say, oh, um, I don't know, because most cities have like one, so it's like you're specifying the airport of this city. So you yeah. say, I'm going to the airport, or even if you're talking on the phone and the person asks, where are you? You say, I'm at the airport, usually. You don't usually say, I'm at an airport. Mm -hmm. We usually use the definite the answer, airport. the airport. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so. Do you want to read the questions too? I'm going to write um, we have a, check like a banner. So we're going to look at some questions related to check-in at the airport. Number one, which documents do you need to check in for a flight? Number two, do you prefer to use online check-in or check-in at the desk? Number three, do you usually check in baggage? And number four, what are some questions the check-in agent asks? And if there's any new vocabulary, guys, let us know if there is any. I'm writing it in a... Yeah, and if we ever say a word and you're not sure what we said, please ask. Ask us. Even mm -hmm. if you just write what it sounded like, if you're not sure what it was. We might we be able to figure it out. We might be able to figure it out. <laughs> we'll try. And um, Alex agrees with me that the South is more beautiful. So... Okay, so it's true. My opinion is justified. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but tell us in the comments, guys, what, what documents do you need? Also, <laughs> let's make sure we understand the difference of like check-in and then security. So mm -hmm. here's a picture of check-in. Normally where you can get your ticket, where you leave your, your baggage or your luggage. Yeah. This is the check in. Um, these days, airports are so fancy and you can do a lot of stuff online beforehand, right? Mm -hmm. That maybe sometimes you don't even need to go to check in. I don't know. You guys tell us. Yeah, uh, I don't normally. I normally I only go to check in now if I must check um, my bag. Right. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh, Even though apparently, because I'm not Italian, I'm supposed to, but I never had a really? problem. <laughs> yeah, it, like on Ryanair, for example, they always tell me because I'm not a European uh, Union okay, citizen I that I must go to check in, but I've not, I've never had a problem. Well, I'm looking forward to being in the same boat as you soon. <laughs> um, Mattia, we need. Uh, to ID card, passport, or visa, and ticket. Lovely. We don't need that too. Yeah. Just we need, we need ID card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Luca agrees. Yeah, you need a passport, identity card, and the ticket. Yeah, okay. and sometimes for check-in, you don't need your ticket. You can, you can receive right. your ticket. You get your ticket. You get yeah. your ticket, you receive it. Also, I, in, the U, in the UK, I know it's different in Italy, but no identity card. We don't have identity cards. Yeah, we so use, um, use the passport. That's it. In the US, if you're traveling in the US, not mm -hmm. outside, we only need mm -hmm. our driver's license because that is our sure. identity Some card. Form of ID. I think you're right as well. In the U if you're traveling within the UK, it's the same. Yeah. Yeah. And Alex agrees. Yeah, it depends where you go because for some destinations, you need to have a passport, a passport. But if you travel in the EU, UE, EU, <laughs> you can travel with an identity card only. Yeah. Yeah. 
same in the United States, but outside passport. I need to renew my passport. Good point. I don't know when mine expires. It doesn't. Um, yeah, mine doesn't what? expire until April of next year. But I don't know if they will renew my my permit, my permesso, if sure. my passport expires before the permit expires. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I have to plan ahead. <laughs> yeah. But I can do it here in Italy, I found out. So that's good. Okay, that's good. Or a boarding card. Yeah. Boarding card, yeah. Mm, although usually you get the boarding card at check-in, no? Yeah. Yeah, you Get might need, I'm gonna point out guys, you might need like the e-ticket, like the booking number, like the number for your, f not the flight, but the number for the purchase of the ticket. And then you can receive the ticket at check-in. Does that make sense? I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we call that? The, the, the flight number. number? Not the, the flight booking number. Reference. The booking reference. That's yeah, it's like the e-booking confirm. It's like the confirmation code or the reference number. Oh. There's a lot of names for it, but it's the normally it's like six numbers and letters for your specific ticket. No, it's not the flight number. Okay. It's something else. Like if you go to, you know, in the airport, they sometimes have the like electronic machines. Yeah. where you can print your ticket. Yeah. They always ask for like the booking reference number. Okay, I see. Which yeah, there's a lot of names for it. For me, channel, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your turn. It is the smartest. <laughs> I definitely prefer online checking because it's the smartest. Cause, mm -hmm. perfect. It's the smartest. Yes. Masia loves to use his like typing slang. So can I just tell you that I, until October last year, I didn't have a smartphone and it was such a headache checking in online for Ryanair or EasyJet because you have to, with Ryanair especially, if you don't want to pay extra, you can only check in 24 hours before the flight, okay, on, online on your phone. So a couple of times on holiday, I would have to find a um, internet cafe with printing and check in and print my boarding pass the day when I was leaving. Oh That's my really god. Fun. Yeah. That's a pain in the butt. Um, not fun. Pain in the butt. And Luca, I prefer to use online check-in because you avoid the long queue at the desk. Very exactly. good. And I it's the fastest it. way. It's the fastest way. Yeah, I was once in a very stressful long queue at Bologna. Was that Bologna the airport? Yeah. You, you missed, because um, you joined us after Christmas, or around Christmas, mm -hmm. normally in December, every year we have a conference for all of the teachers at mm -hmm. Mayes, and this year it was in Palermo, and because oh, yeah, it was no, I like, remember this, yeah. I remember the line, it. oh my god, the line to get through security was the longest I have ever seen at Bologna wow. Airport. Wow. Is it, it it's, so long. it's getting busier, isn't it, as an airport, I guess. And they probably I think haven't it, increased capacity that much since it well, became busier. I think also because it was so close to Christmas. Christmas as well, absolutely. It was yeah. really, really busy. Yeah. Really busy. But let's see. Number three. I don't usually check in baggage unless it's a long trip. Yeah, me neither. No. I'm pretty good at like getting everything down to just like one bag yeah and going. if i'm going home to the us no yeah, sure. <laughs> but if i'm traveling somewhere in europe it's normally a couple days maybe four days and i can fit everything what is this one? Oh, ouch one time i forgot to check my id expiration date good and i couldn't leave um, can't in the past becomes couldn't, so I couldn't leave. Um, I had to pay another ticket after I did another, I guess, ID card. Ah, so you had to you had to get a new ID card and then a new ticket. Right. 
Okay. And also, this is um, something a very common, like slip, a little error to pay for another ticket. In English, we pay for something. If you say, okay, it's a bit confusing, right? I pay someone without preposition. So I pay Kendra for a coffee. Mm -hmm. If I'm talking about the thing that I buy with the money, I need to say for. So in this case, you pay the airline, the, the company, you pay them for another ticket. Yeah. Also, I would change the the verb not did a new ID card, but after I got a new ID card. Yeah, to get. After you received it. Yeah, exactly, absolutely. Oh, God, that's terrible. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a true. little stressed that I, of getting my new passport before I need to apply for my permit. <laughs> it sounds like you're way ahead of the game. You'll be fine. I mean, I am, but I have to apply for my permit at the beginning of July. And the mm -hmm. U.S. consulates in, the, in Italy right now are only doing, like, emergency services. Okay. So I can't renew my passport unless it's an emergency which right now it's not. So I have to wait until like they reopen things again to do it. <laughs> and then I hope it fits to me in time to renew my permit. It will be fine. Um, I love sorry. these stories we're now hearing. We're just hearing these yeah. sad stories. Once it's um, said, I've lost my ticket and it was, it was absolutely terrifying because I was alone. <laughs> Ooh, that is scary. Suddenly, I found an Italian airport member that helped me to find the Ryanair desk. Cool. Okay. Um, once at San said, we can just use past simple because you're talking about a specific time in the past and an action that's finished. So not present perfect, but past simple. I lost. I lost my ticket. Yeah. And it was absolutely terrifying. Yeah. Suddenly, I found an Italian airport staff member yeah member of staff we have to say that in english staff member lucky that sounds really stressful airport that would be really stressful airport nightmares that's a whole nother topic right airport. yeah yeah i had to like stay overnight in one airport uh, and i was really nervous because like the police were walking through the airport for all the people sleeping to check their like their tickets and their documents and i had uh -huh. to ex like i had to g i gave them my passport i gave them my permesso because my visa and my passport is expired now i have my permesso which is good so i don't need my visa but i had to like explain here you need this and this here's my flight i leave tomorrow <laughs> like <laughs> so where were you in bologna in milan yeah, normally the flights are cheaper out of um, Milan than Bologna, yeah. but I'm not going to do that anymore because getting to Milan is a headache. It's sure. just easier to fly out of Bologna, sure. even though it's more it's more expensive. But do you guys have any ideas for questions the check-in agent might ask you? Mm -hmm. This will lead into our next, right? Our next slide. Mm -hmm. The check-in agent. Um, it will lead up to it. It's not right. Not yet. <clears throat> My sister was a check-in agent. Really? Yeah. Well, she's an air hostess now, but she used to be a check-in agent. Ground, ground staff, as we call them ground in the UK. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I prefer online check-in to maybe avoid the queue. You save time, mm -hmm. but you avoid the queue. Mm -hmm. Right. Stay away <laughs> to avoid the queue. Let's move on. Why not? I want to get. I want to get to that listening. Yes. So, let's start with this one, guys. Go ahead and match those words to our pictures. We have boarding pass, baggage claim, trolley, security, luggage, and gate. And, oh, Alex gave us a question. Do you have anything to declare? This one is not going to be at check-in, but at customs, Alex. 
Good point. This question. Do they not ask that at check-in though? Mm -mm. Not normally at check-in. Because sure. we have like three points in the airport. We have the check-in, then the security, where we you know take off our shoes, we take out the computer, that's security. Then when you arrive in a different country, you go through customs. And this mm -hmm. is where they ask, what do you have to declare? Yeah, no worries, Alex. It's normal to confuse the three. Check-in, security, customs, in that order. Go ahead and start matching in the comments these words to the pictures. Check-in, I'm gonna write this. Check-in, I hear myself, and how's Mike? <laughs> Second security and then customs. These are the one, two, three, or one, two, three. This way. <laughs> have you have you ever had to declare anything? No. Neither. No. Like I mean, I've gone through customs because I'm from the United States. So every time I go home and every time I come into Europe, I have to. I must go through customs. Um, oh. But. Mm, no, I've not had to, like, I, I write what I have, like, if it, I have, like, food, and, but then when they ask, I tell them, and they're like, okay, bye. <laughs> and, of course, whenever I go home, they're so nice, because I'm American, so they don't, <laughs> like, worry about me. Yeah. I had a nice conversation with the, the customs official in the United States. He was like, I see you have some like food. And I was like, yeah, I have a pistachio pesto. And he was like, well, that sounds lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. OK, let's see. We have two guesses. Ale Ooh, Matia thinks security for A. And Alex said boarding pass. Check again, Alex. And Jessica, OK, hi, welcome. <laughs> Hi. I went missing when I was a child in the airport on two occasions. Hee <laughs> hee. Gosh, I, I bet your parents uh, were very sick, as we say. You would. What a disaster. <laughs> That's happened to me at the grocery store. Sure. And then on like the announcement, Kendra, please come to the, <laughs> the checkout. Yeah. What's an <laughs> airport? That would be scary at the pretty airport. Scary, pretty scary. Yeah. On two occasions, of course. I mean, Let's see. Cool. Yes. Yes. A for security. Let's nice. find out. Good, you guys. Great. What about because B? Because that's the little um, tray. You can't. I can't tray. see it. That way, but we have a tray, which you put your things in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Your wallet, your phone, your computer, your liquids. Yeah. And we have a guess. I see two guesses for B. One, I see luggage, and another, I see trolley, and also trolley. And Luca actually got it. Luggage. We have a lot of names for luggage, which I won't say yet because we will talk about it. But C. Exactly. Baggage claim, yeah. great. Where you can take the checked bags. The bags. I love, checked. I love those carousels. The I don't know what I you call it. I always wanted to ride it. Train. Yeah, they're so fun. They're my favorite part of an airport. There we go. Oh, I need to put my charger in. One sec. Anyone else hear Hal's headphones? They're really loud. Um, D. I see trolley, good. Yeah, a trolley or a, a cart, but something that helps you hold the luggage. We have the loudest headphones. <laughs> really? Can you hear, when you move them, they're like. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> quite a lot. Yes, in in Italian, yes, you sometimes say trolley for your for your luggage. It's true, but careful, it's uncountable, Mattia. No luggages, just luggage. It's luggage, the stuff of it. And I see a lot of guesses for the gate for E. Great, 
And F, do we have a guess for F? Mm, Eliza said boarding pass. Alex said boarding pass. They said it earlier. Great, you guys. Awesome. So then now, like I said, what are some other, why do you say a sick face, Mattia? <laughs> Mystery. Why? Also, maybe it's what Jessica says, sitting on the baggage plane is the best part of being in the airport. I've never done it. But I think I, I believe did it like, for a second, like, and I stood up. There was a story, I think, in the United yeah. States of a little boy who, who went their parents were watching him, and he went, like, yeah. in. Yeah, I bet that in happens. Third. More often, more often than you would think. Oh. I bet. Uh, I don't know. Because it was fun. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Don't worry. <clears throat> so, guys, what are some other words for luggage? We saw one on the last. Actually, it's on the slide also. Well, There's oh, yeah. luggage. There's luggage. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Uh, bah, bah, bah. Exactly. It's, it's, a roller coaster. <laughs> it's like designed to, to be a Pixar short film, like a kid stuck on it. How fun. Yeah. Yes. Baggage. Baggage. There's one more. Two more, actually. I can think of one more. But maybe. There's like the short form of yeah. baggage. Which is the one I use. Okay. Then there's one that starts with an S that I use as an American. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, okay. So luggage, baggage. Matia, a hand bag. Handbag, like a purse. Is a, is a small bag usually that women, not always, can carry. But we also have bags, right? Is that the one you were thinking yeah. of? Might get the bags. Uh huh. And the one bags. I'm thinking of, I'm going to put it yeah. in the comments, guys, was suitcase. Oh, yeah. A suitcase. suitcase. Sorry, I was right. So luggage and baggage is uncountable, but bag and suitcase are countable. Yeah. But these so are the all bags. good, Luca. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I think I would we, actually use suitcase. I just forgot. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay, so we're now we're to the part that I wanna I'm excited about. Okay. So we have some questions. These are some common check-in questions. And we'll read them first. Then we're going to listen to an audio clip that has these questions in it or at least similar questions. So we'll pause and we'll talk through the audio with you guys so we can explain any new vocabulary and you can hear this conversation. Is that clear, Hal? Did I explain that? Okay. Great, yeah. We, I mean, the main thing is that they're not exactly the same as the questions here, but they're similar, so we they're can really talk similar. about the differences. Yeah, okay. you wanna read the questions? Sure. Number one, may I see your passport? Number two, have you checked in online? Number three, do you have a seat preference? Number four, do you need to check in any bags? Number five, did you pack your bags yourself? And number six, has anyone else had access to your bags? Okay. Good. And actually, Alex told us, one time the company broke, he corrected himself, good, my luggage, and Ryanair sent me another one. Another new one similar to mine. This happened to me too, but I didn't receive anything from the airport. Wait, but wait, wait. They broke the bag or they broke the stuff inside of it? I think the bag. I've had oh, a I wheel think. literally torn off my suitcase. Oh, wow. Okay. A brand new, like a new suitcase never used. Because they're going quick. Oh. Well, they, they're just not Excuses. being gentle with the, <laughs> the luggage. Just throw it. Yeah. But maybe before we start, are there any of these questions that aren't clear? I think yeah. the first two are clear. Seat preference. Yeah. I like Check the use of 
the reflexive pronoun in number five is nice to like here mm-hmm. to emphasize. Maybe we could talk about that. So if I say I I did it myself, I did it myself. I'm emphasizing that I did it, and nobody helped me. I didn't have other people. I did it alone. Really, yeah. okay. I did it myself. Did you pack your bags yourself? If I asked, did you pack your bags? That's okay. It's very similar. But if I say yourself, I'm emphasizing just you, nobody else, you alone. Yeah. And we can do it with other stuff as well. Also, even the verb to pack, you guys, we use this mm-hmm. for our bags. You can use it for um, like even your lunch. Um, but it's in the sense of like to prepare. You put the clothes into the suitcase, into the baggage. Mm-hmm. In Italian, you say prepare, but in English, we say to pack. We have a particular yeah. verb for it. Um, and maybe access, do we know what, has anyone else had yeah. access, access to your bags? To, do you have access to, like at the moment, we all, everyone here has access to the internet. Mm-hmm. Use it like that. How would you explain you have access? You have... Um, I mean, I think it comes, or the thing that comes into my head is like, if you're driving, you have access to certain roads and there are certain places where you can't go. So if you can go somewhere, if you can kind of do something, then you have access to it. Yeah. So here, it's a bit of a formal way of asking it, right? Has anyone else had access to your bags? But the idea is, has anyone else... Did anyone else come and like go, go into your bags? Go into your bags, yeah. Go into your bags. Um, yeah. Some other can you like someone else can use your bag? Maybe not even use, but they they've they've they go gone into, into the bag. Like if you if you leave your suitcase somewhere. And, or no, for example, maybe you live with your partner, your husband, your wife, girlfriend, or boyfriend. Technically, they have access to your bag, or maybe they helped you pack. Mm -hmm. So you might not know what's in your bag or what they put in your bag. Yeah, some other people could touch your bag. Exactly, Alex. That's the idea. Excellent. Good. Okay, we ready to listen? Yeah. Yay, how exciting. I'm going to make sure my banners are ready. So we're going to hide our screen here, remove that. We're going to open up a new one, if I can. This one, share audio. Dun, dun. Okay, let me put it back to the beginning. Cool. All right, are we ready? Let's listen to this audio at the airport. So how you have to help me like pause when we hear the, actually, no, here we go. I'll I'll go like this. I'll go. "Mm." Okay. Because I have to have it open with this other screen. Okay. We got it. Wait, there's a comment. Oh, thank you, Jess. She's like Googling for us. Oh, I didn't want this. I want this. Okay. Opportunity to approach or enter a place or thing. Thank you. (laughs) That's perfect. All right. Here we go. Let's listen. Morning, madam. May I see your passport, please? Dun, dun. The first one. <laughs> there you go. May I see? The use of may is very formal, right? We don't use it in informal context. May I? Super it's polite. For permission. Yeah. Like, yeah. can I? But it's very, very polite. It's very formal. Polite. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put up the next ones that we know to listen for. Here we go. Yes, mm-hmm. of course. Here you are. Mrs. M. MacDonald, travelling alone. That's right. Fine. Do you have your e-booking confirmation? Yes. Uh, here it is. So that was a little different. It was the mm-hmm. e-booking confirmation, which is the the numbers, like not for the flight, but for the purchase, for the ticket. Exactly. Confirmation. Mm-hmm. In confirmation, we'll put that in Which the... Use, like, so I don't know, for other things like the cinema or the theatre, if you booked online, you'll have a confirmation email. Mm-hmm. With a number. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay, we'll pull up the next one. Let's keep listening. Mm-hmm. 
that's all fine. One moment, please. Do you have any luggage other than hand luggage? Actually, that was something different. This one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. But he said luggage. Hand he luggage. Said hand luggage, which maybe because Matthias said, didn't he? So we don't say, ha when we say handbag, we mean like a thing, like a fashion. <laughs> I can't describe it. Yeah. Like a small bag that you can keep things in that you carry with you. But in an airport, when we say hand luggage, it's specifically the luggage you are bringing onto the plane with you that you're yeah. carrying onto the plane. Okay. It's a specific. I put onto in one word, onto the plane. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yes, there's this case. On the scales, please. Uh, oh, there you are. <laughs> scales might be a new word. Yeah, scales. So we have the bag and we need to weigh it. We need to see how much it weighs. And we put them on the scales. So scales are used to weigh something, exactly. Yeah, scales, scales. Yeah, I normally say the scale, not the scales. Oh, I say scales, plural. Interesting, okay. Yeah, that's to see how heavy the bag is. So she's weighing it, she's checking the weight because normally at the airport, the bags have a limit a maximum weight and then you pay you pay you pay more and more pay a lot <laughs> you yeah, don't you over. <laughs> it's true uh, okay that's just inside the permitted weight allowance did you pack your bag yourself yes uh, mm -hmm. this question did you pack did your you bag pack yourself 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 exactly when oh, alex has a comment hand luggage has some specific size you're exactly. right uh, yeah like there are those little strange baskets which you can put the bag in to check if it's the right yeah. size. It's always the moment of truth for me. Yeah. And normally it's up. like, yeah. yeah. And normally and it's like you're allowed like a small suitcase and maybe like a purse or like a backpack sure. and a, a sure. purse. A bag, yeah. a little bag, handbag. Yeah. You're right, Alex. Oh, let me hide that now. The bomb. And our lady, she says, yes. <laughs> Let's keep listening. <laughs> and have you left it unattended at any time before or since arriving at the airport? This is an interesting question. This is like this one. So he yeah. said, have you left your bag unattended at any time? Unattended, meaning you are not watching the bag. Yeah. Unattended. So these days in the UK at train stations, they say, they say, say, unattended items will be disposed of by the airport security team, or something like that. Yeah. If you leave a bag, then it just it gets destroyed. It gets destroyed. Yeah, we, know, we have one that says, please report any suspicious looking items mm -hmm. to so. police, to security. Um, so suspicious might be like a bag just sitting. No I'm one sorry. is around. Yeah, that's an unattended bag. So sure. by ask, asking, has your bag been unattended? Is it like asking, has anyone else had access? It's unattended. Exactly. You don't know if someone maybe accessed your bag. Um, bah, bah, bah. She still needs to be asked about her seat. Let's see. Uh, no, I don't think so. Have you seen the list of prohibited items for hand luggage? Yes, I've... Just got one small bottle of perfume. It's under a hundred milliliters, I'm sure. I see. You might have to show that at the security check. Oh. <laughs> Maybe prohibited, oh. we should talk about. Yeah. Prohibited. Do you have any prohibited, prohibited items? I can't spell mm. prohibited. Mm. Oh, we're almost out of time. Crap. Yeah, yeah. Um, prohibited, not allowed, not permitted. Mm -hmm. I'll take exactly. it on. I don't know. Maybe we should stop there with the, the listening. If you guys want, hear what I can do. Yeah, good idea. Share the. I'm going to share the link that you can listen to if you'd like. Um, it's a good, good example of a conversation. And you can also find the text of the conversation. And if nice. there's any new vocabulary, you can always ask on the Myas SOS uh, English Facebook group. 
and any other questions you might have, you can always ask there. And there, what? There will be another webinar in 10 minutes. That's it. <laughs> We're Thanks done. Guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. We'll see you later. Take care.